Well, folks, today I'd like to talk to you about your hopes, about your dreams. I know that the world will end soon, and most of you have better things to do than listen to me. But this job, talking on the radio, is what I dreamed about all my life. And I'll live this dream until, well, I stop living. Now, now what I wonder about is, what are your dreams, and did you fulfill them? Did you live your life to the fullest? Let the world know. Dial 555-FLEE. I am listening. I'm sure there's someone willing to share dreams. Get it off your chest. Anyone. Please. I'm not talking into thin air, am I? Just one call, that's all. For Christ's sake. I can't believe this. Please. I just want someone to talk to. Dial 555-FL-double-E. Just one person, and I'll be at... Oh, wait. I have someone on the line here. Hello, who am I speaking with? Oh, Steve. Uh, Steve Hendrickson. Hello, Steve. Thank you for calling, and welcome to the show. May I ask what you're doing at the moment? Um, nothing, really. Nothing. That seems hard to believe. What is it that you do for a living, Steve? Well, I'm a delivery guy. And that is your dream? Uh, no, it isn't. Then why aren't you out pursuing it? going? What's going on? I'll be back, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the President of the United States. I will be brief. As you know, the meteor threatening our planet is steadily approaching, and all attempts at destroying or diverting it have failed. I have just received word that it will strike in three hours. It is time to be realistic. Chances of survival are slim, but no... So, Steve... Here's the earth, right? Yeah. And there's this huge meteor, a size of Texas, coming straight at it. Everything is doomed. Everyone panics. But then along comes this ordinary looking guy wearing a ring. And then he puts his hand up in the sky, an enormous beam blasts out of it, and blows me into a thousand pieces. You really think we can do that? Of course not. What makes you say that? There is no such thing as superpowers. Yes, there is, if you believe in it. I say we make a pact. If the world is ever in danger, we'll gather here and save it. Yes. And how do you plan on doing that? Trust me, sis. Is 
the seat taken? Hey. Sandra. Cheers. When did you come back? This morning. Oh. Said goodbye to your parents? But what I've said. What are you going to say to me? How long have I been gone? Sorry doesn't bring back last year, Sandra. I try to come back, okay? You're right. You know what? Maybe coming back here was a mistake after all. Well, maybe it was. I'm sorry about just now. Me too. It's just... Uh, I did count the days. Every single one of them. I just... I couldn't take it anymore. I needed to get out. And I needed you. I know. Good old times. <laughs> Hope. Oh. Hi, guys. It's serious. Isn't it? 
They gave me two weeks. What? What do you have? Trust me. You should have been here. I know. Look, Steve. I'm so sorry I've left you alone all these years. It's okay. Come on. Hold up your hand. <laughs> I nearly forgot we had those. Come on. Thank you. 